In the middle of the woods near Herrick, Illinois, there's a spring at the bridge, a natural spring that flows year round. And they've erected a cross here and a water wheel. And it's kind of a natural wonder. Adventure Wednesday starts now, right? Yes, <laughs> Where September, are we what is today's date? Good question. September 16th, 16th, 2015, 15, to be exact. Yeah, we're scoping out a spring <laughs> over by Beecher City that like flows constantly, and then we're gonna try to find well, a covered bridge. Brought it's pretty woolly back in here. What would you call that? What was this area called, or did it have a name? Well, right there's Bowerman Hill. <laughs> Put that on the tape stand. <laughs> what is this called? Bullerman Hill. B Bullerman? Yep, Bullerman Hill. Bullerman Hill. We're going to turn right right here. Take a ride at Bullerman Hill. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Thompson Mill Bridge, covered bridge in Cowden, Illinois. It's no longer used for road traffic, but you can walk on it. And that's pretty cool. There's the historical plaque. So this is the Cascadia? Yeah. Yep. It uh, crosses the Cas Cascadia River. This is a really cool covered bridge. It's a historical site now. Of course, there's always somebody that'll graffiti it and put their name on it. But at least that's a good saying. Don't hurry, don't worry, stop and smell the flowers. This is where the road used to come down and go over the covered bridge. Of course, that's blocked off now. And there's the bridge. Very cool. I love these old covered bridges. Thompson Mill Bridge was originally erected in 1868 at a cost of $2,500 and named for the owner of the first mill near here. It is the narrowest of all the covered bridges in Illinois with a width of only 10 feet and 7 inches and 11 feet 4 inches high. This is the cross at the springs. Wren Bridge. This is the cross at the spring. It's close to the Wren Bridge. And we're near Brownstown, Herrick. Not quite sure where we're at anymore. And it actually has a spring water running through it. A little mill is being run by the water. There's the spring coming down the hill, and part of it's funneled to here. That's pretty cool. Spring at the bridge. That is neat. In memory of Oscar and Katie Sarber. Are you going to try it? That's cool. <laughs> Scripture in the Bible. Is it cold? Yeah, it's good. We're drinking some spring water. You see that now? It says smile. Can I have some? Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> That's really good. It's cool. cool. Yeah. I know. Tastes good. Fresh spring water.
donations for Road Rock. A lot of people were involved in making this happen, and I'm sure a lot are involved still in keeping it going. It's kind of neat. Did not know this existed. Indians used to come here years ago. And yeah. Before they got their water, they looked up there on the bluff. Yeah. Tokens of their appreciation, like arrowheads and stuff. Thank the water gods. The water's supposed to have healing properties, for like arthritis, lumbago, gout. <laughs> so a lot of people come and get it then by oh, the yeah. gallon. There's a whole book in the history there. Wow. When this was the road where the bridge was there, the road used to come right here in the bridge behind that rock. There was a gathering here every weekend. A guy had a stand set up with fried fish and had ice cream. Yeah. He had a boxing ring. Really? He bring in fried fighters from oh. Chicago, St. Louis, wow. Indianapolis. The guy had a merry-go-round and a Ferris wheel set up on that side. And there's a guy in that field with an airplane. Fix your hearing and your vision for a dollar. <laughs> you can rent the bathing suit for a nickel. And they, they can put your clothes in the basket. They had a regular bathhouse where you could paint. And this is where everybody that was anybody used to come and gather here on the weekend. In the middle of the woods near Herrick, Illinois, there's a spring at the bridge, a natural spring that flows year round. And they've erected a cross here and a water wheel. And it's kind of a natural wonder. People used to say it had uh, healing properties and would come from miles around to get some of the water. And we tried some of the water, and it's really good and cold. And it's right on the banks of the Kaskaskia River. Kind of funny when you come across these things like this, these little sites that you never knew existed, but have been here for years and local people know about them but people like us that live in the area don't even know they exist so that's kind of cool original site of the Wren Bridge 1898 and there is the river real pretty setting down here too real peaceful This used to be part of the old Wren Bridge years ago. Went across the Kaskaskia. The road leading up to it. And down below is the spring. And further on down this road, as you come in the entrance, actually is a large white cross. People come here and fill up their bottles and their jugs to get some of this fine spring water. On a recent Adventure Wednesday, we went on a road trip with my in-laws, Merle and Mary Meckling, and it turned out it was a really good thing we had them with us or we probably would have got lost. First we went to the covered bridge at Cowden, Illinois, and this is a really well-preserved covered bridge. It's closed to traffic, but it's open for walking and it's really worth seeing. Then we went to the Cross at the Springs which is near Wren Bridge, and this is a natural spring that's there. There's also a cross erected, but people still to this day go to that spring and fill their jugs and containers with the fresh spring water. It was a fun day. It was a good trip, and if you're in that area, I'd say Google it first to see where that area is. Uh, check them out, and thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.